Hello, now in this lesson we're going to learn how to input dates and times uh, into Excel because a lot of times you'll be doing that if, you're, if you have a large collection of data you might have time associated with it so you're going to need to know how to put times and dates in there. So first let's go ahead and highlight all of the stuff that we were doing before and just hit the delete key and get rid of it all. And let's say I want to put some dates over here. So let me make this column a little bit wider so we can see everything. And then let's go over here and let's type in some dates. So let's say we're looking at uh, April. So we'll put uh, April 13th, 2013. So we'll enter that as 4 slash 13 slash 13. I'm going to make this a little bit uh, clear there. So we'll go ahead and hit the Enter key. And notice that when we do that, Excel formats it correctly. Even though we only typed in 13 for the year, it knows that it's 2013. So equivalently, we could do... 4, which is April uh, 10th. We could also type in the full year instead of just putting the 13, hit enter, and Excel again knows the status bar, it knows that that's 2013. If you're used to writing a zero in front of the month, like 02, uh, 05, uh, 12, so let's say that's February 5th, 2012, the zeros in front of the day and the month doesn't really matter to Excel. You go ahead and hit it in there and it knows that it's February 5th, 2012. Alright, so we can type in the year 